welcome to my slime room tour slash my slime slash my slime shop in my dog's kennel area oh my lord this is i just cleaned it so it is extremely well organized it will not last long i can guarantee you that right now um very proud of how it looks right now so i was like i'm gonna get this on recording that okay that made sense hi um if you guys didn't know i am nicole jacqueline i'm doing this on my second channel nicole jacqueline vlogs um, I'm also Slime by Jacqueline on Etsy and Instagram. I will link all of my slime shop stuff down below if you want to purchase from me. Um, I am really excited to show you guys my slime room tour. So let's just hop into this. <laughs> so uh, this is my apartment. I love it so much. That's my dog Scooby. My dog Thor is over there. If you want more on my dogs, they are in like all of my vlogs so subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of my life slash watching me do more slime shop stuff because that's very interesting interesting if you want to see what i look like and you're like who is this girl talking behind a camera one i look terrible right now so subscribe down below to see me to see more of me doing things that aren't just this and my slime shop in general so anyways guys when you first walk into my slime shop which i am so thankful to be able to have an apartment where I can have my filming room and I can have a room for my shop because it is well needed and this definitely suffices very well which I'm very proud of I'm excited to show you guys about okay anyways when you first walk in I have boxes I only try to keep like the smallest ones because when I get big orders it's nice to already have boxes and the ones I get from Uline that carry the jar caps are like the perfect size ever for um, that kind of thing. So that's what I have here. And I just have some peppermint um, aromatherapy. Then I next one I have this random body spray. Only because it's just like my dogs, they get really soothed when I spray this. And then this is more for when like I'm in here or just like a close grab to spray in the apartment. I'm a big scent person. I love scents. <laughs> then I have my dog's crates. We have Scooby and Thor. Um, there's really no reason why they have a different size cage. The only reason was I purchased <laughs> a bigger cage by accident without even realizing it. So, whoops, but they're like super close in size anyway. So, and then this is on Thor's side because Thor likes to dig. If he wants to get out of his crate sometimes, he gets mad at me. They're only in their crates when I leave for a very long time. Like, a very long time being like a four hour day of me being at classes. Like, very little time they're in their crates, but they love them. But, anyways. Um, and then I had this rug in here and I didn't like it anymore and just in this room I'm not a fan of it being in here so I rolled it up and put it right here until further notice because I'm just like we're putting it there for a second and then so next to my dog's crates we have a bunch of packages for like packaging obviously so that 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 and that are all for packaging personally I wish I didn't order as many of these giant ones because I use a lot more of these size I get a lot more two slimes, like one or two slime orders, than I get like eight slime orders or six slime orders, but I definitely recommend Uline.com. It's a great service if you want a great company if you want to find stuff for your own store. And then these are my four ounce containers and I have a bunch of them in here. And I have, oh, there's an eight ounce in there. That does not belong there. You belong in here. So yeah, then I have a chair here that you, generally I will either put a, my, my table up that I have in my closet over here and I will package orders right here or I'll package orders in my, uh, in my living room while watching TV or Netflix because sometimes it gets boring and you have to entertain yourself while you're packaging slime. Um, so then next to here, um, I have, this table has slime on it. What the heck, Nicole? Really? You, did, you almost had everything perfect. <laughs> These are orders I have to pack. It was about... 10 in here. I packed like 100 today, but I have to do 10 more and then I'm done with my order for the week. <laughs> and um, I don't have a set restock day, but I generally restock Fridays and Saturdays. Anyways, so underneath this table is my eight ounce cover, my caps. Um, 
I recently started using the deli containers for my 8 ounces. They're just like my favorite thing ever, but I do have some 8 ounces to use up. And then I have my 4 ounce lids and I have my 8 ounce containers. It's nice that I can just pull them out from this table and they slide underneath. It just looks very like nice to me. As nice as it could possibly get. This is a disaster. I hate this slime on here. And I have a diffuser currently diffusing um, an apple, a very like light apple fragrance. And these are just like my basic containers I will store slime in. I have some giant ones in my closet behind me here. Um, they're, from like the, they're from like the dollar store, I think. Very simple, but they're really good to, um, if you want to add in packing peanuts for like a bubble gum, like a, like a Cheeto bubble gum slime or whatever. You just, they're really good size. So then here, and whenever I, I haven't like used, this is a new setup for me, but I like this a lot. So then next to, this is the wall of fun. That's, who says the wall of fun? Did I, oh God, I'm so stupid sometimes, y'all. What the heck? Um, so next to this, we have my garbage can, which I barely ever use, but I have one thing in it. This is for slime pressing, which I have never done before. So I don't know why I have that just sitting in the corner. I better use that. Okay, where do I start here? So <laughs> I have a lot of glue. Um, I generally buy enough glue to last me for the f a full month because then it's just easier not to have constantly place orders on Amazon, just buy it all in once. Um, but I just have some white Elmer's glue, some clear glue, um, yeah. I don't make as much clear slimes, I don't, I just, it doesn't ever work in my favor that much. I don't know what it is, I'm so good at making, good at making, I'm so, <laughs> sounds so conceited, but I'm better at making slime with a white base glue than a clear glue slime base, but we working on it. <laughs> so that's a little, the top of this divider, and I have a crap ton of scents because when I first started making slime, I think I literally just started using like these ones and these ones from like Michaels. Um, Michaels, and they're from Amazon, and they, they work really well, honestly. I love this apple scent. That was really good. If you ever wondered, Eternal Essence, they're really awesome. And that's just that shelf. I have a, bora a borax, <laughs> a borax little container here. And then I have all my foam beads here. Just this shelf. So just, um, they're sectioned by color, which probably will not last long, but I hope it will, because it's very satisfying and it looks way better than having a giant box and not knowing what I have inside of it. So I have blue, pink, white, yellow, then I have my rainbow foam beads. I have a ton of rainbow. Then I have some giant ones in the corner. I don't have many of these anymore. I have rainbow giant and I have blue giant, and then I have some mixing containers that are meant for slime in my slime shop that I have ruined. I just don't want to put food in there after I've made slime in it, you know what I mean? Like, ew, that's not sanitary. Even if you wash it, it just feels gross. <laughs> this is like the most random compilation of things. Um, mostly stuff that I use for videos or on my main channel or DIY, I don't know. There's even like baking soda, lotion, just a lot of like testing stuff I've tested out before and then I'm out of breath. I haven't done a room tour in like a long time. It's a lot of like, <sighs> sorry, that was annoying. Okay, so then this is just like some more foam beads, purple, very, this is very like fall color. I tried to like make it, you know, the ones I want to use for fall or Halloween are going to be in here. And I have a random Daiso clay that I got from, I don't know who it was, but it was a slime um, review video I did. I have a huge box of Daiso Click coming, but it literally is at some random UPS pickup point, and I don't know where it is. I lost my slip. I have to go hunt it down now. <laughs> it's really embarrassing, actually. I just have a bunch of little things from a site called um, Solar, Solar Color Dust. It's really awesome. I did a video called Testing Viral Slimes on my main channel, where I use a bunch of those products, and I also used those are from that shop also. I have more glue random <clears throat> random stuff some model magic i don't use this anymore as much but i have some of it still and then i have some more scents in here as you can tell pretty simple i love the banana scent it smells super good 
the blue cotton candy scent it says mm, smells so good also and to make my blueberry um, crunch I take the blue cotton candy and mix it with the blueberry smell it smells so good <laughs> I have a cup for just water essentially if I use it for an icy slime or a cloud cream slime and I have a random slime kit that I meant to test out in a video but I never did but I have it now so I might give it away or something I don't know <laughs> I have it though so we good and I just have some more glitters in here I got from the slime no the glitter library at Target and they're really pretty I love them but that's like so fun <laughs> to have my nails ASMR who I don't know okay then this is some in snow powder from Amazon um, you know it's pretty awesome I love it <laughs> I have this giant thing of glitter because I'm I love adding this in with thick slimes like um what do you what's it called oh with like a, a cinnamon bun slime I have one right here actually um it just adds like a little bit extra something something it smells really good also and that all for this yeah that's all for this section then I have all of my scents in this compartment and it's really annoying but I just want to keep it a secret and I want you guys to be like wow it's just like it makes it more exciting on top of this one we have more glue <laughs> then over here we have um, these which are really good for which I want to add to a cake batter slime but my Daiso clay is where God knows where at a UPS station I have some slushy or not slushy beads these are yeah slushy beads just bean bag filler I have a bunch of them right here I have business card extras and I have some thank you cards in here with my logo on them there's a bunch of random extras and I have some pigments um, a lot of stuff is like stuff I got from review videos and that's really fun to like play with and add to your slime so I have all these little extras and then this next shelf I have slimes that are just restocked and I am almost out of stock of this I packed like half I packed like 30 of these today actually I have more glue and then on this compartment under my secret scent lab I have glue I'm using still like things to be used up haven't stocked these yet but they're cinnamon bun and they're so good and then I just have some packages for packaging orders under here and then this shell isn't annoying to say and then and then and then I'm so sorry um, I have uh, this instant snow this already snow for an icy slime and then I have more snow powder for cloud cream a bunch of random add-ins my mixer is so embarrassing but wow great okay cool <laughs> I have one coming in the mail tomorrow so thank god I have a new mixer because this one I bought the cheap one and it was like $50 I think $50 $45 it was very cheap and it's I like it's terrible right now like it's not great for slime at all anymore it's like terrible just invest I got a KitchenAid um, I didn't get the like industrial size one I don't make that much slime but maybe one day I'll get that one that'd be goals <laughs> have a bunch of I'm sitting on my actual foot bone and it hurts <laughs> so I have some borax because you know you never have enough of that <laughs> have some cornstarch a bunch of packaging tape for packaging obviously and then to the next one we have completed this divider onto the next one this entire bottom two rows is packages packages it just is like a lot better to have them in here versus having them in giant boxes because I should have done it before because this place was atrocious I hated being in here which is a terrible thing to do because it's my shop and I just had boxes like everywhere look it looked so bad I'd much rather have them all sorted out in here and then um whew, girl can't breathe I'm not I don't speak that much like in public kind of speaking like this non-stop so I'm not used to it. it's like anyways okay wow <laughs> so I have these eight ounce ready tainer or no these there's the name <laughs> Oh, they're from Uline, but they're amazing. They're called Deli Containers, and I just have the lids here, containers here. I just love them so much. 
and next to there I have acrylic paints and a really pretty colors I just got in. Lots of like fun pretty colors. I have some ink from my printer and then next to it I just have some random lids and containers that I just found randomly. I have a ton of food coloring mostly because the reason I have so much coloring is because for my YouTube channel I have a lot of paints that I had like formally had from videos and DIYs. So that is that. And then above here, so we have done above that we have all of my stuff I use pretty daily for packaging. I have my fragile slips from Uline.com. I have scissors. I have business cards. Here they are if you want to see what they look like. They're really cool. I love them so much. They're, I did them on Vistaprint.com and they're so awesome. I love them. They're just fun. And I have my um, instructions in the back and then I have my candy and borax that I use for order. Okay, sorry, it cut off because my memory card was full. I had to delete some stuff real quick, but this is actually from, who's this from? Duh. Notch, oh, um, Squishy Bunny. But I just have a bunch of like candy in here and like little extras and borax bag. It's very like mixed in right now. My business cards, all that stuff. And then I just have, this is an empty <laughs> thing of Model Magic that I have apparently washed, I think. It's like losing the paper. Um, I have, oh, that's not supposed to be in here. Let's take out this cup. I just have a bunch of baggies for borax and then I have, hold on, this is a disaster. Du, 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 du. <laughs> okay, a bunch of borax baggies and I'm gonna put this black glitter back where it goes. It's just like super nice to have everything organized and in the right spot. It just makes um, productivity in my shop and me like mo my motivation level to make more slime for my shop increase 10 times out of 10 times all the time. And then next to this, we have a bunch of squishies I did. I hauled all these squishies in a video and I have yet, ooh, I'm thinking about reselling them on my Etsy shop. I'm not sure. I love them so much though. They are really awesome squishies. They are enormous. They're just up out of the way so my dogs can't get to them because if they do, they will ruin them. And they are in beautiful condition right now so I don't wanna get them all ruined. And then up here, I have a bunch of random extras I got from shops and I have some of this. Where did Scooby go? Scooby! He's up, up to no good. I have some bubble wrap. Where did Scooby go? Sco oh my! My camera just turned off, but look what he was doing. Usually when he runs away like that, he's up to no good. So I was nervous that he was being naughty. Anyways, <laughs> that is my slime room tour. If I should do more room tours or videos about my slime shop on this channel, subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up for more slime stuff. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I do a lot of vlogs on this channel, a lot of restocking videos. It's called my vlog channel, but I really just wanted to keep myself on two channels only, my main channel and my second channel because it's just easier. This um, is just literally a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a mixture, it's a giant, it's there's, okay, I'm speechless, it's embarrassing. So this bottom stuff is mostly like school stuff, paper, <laughs> and then I have a bunch of um, stuff for videos and like seasonal stuff for videos that's only like Christmas or Halloween or Easter or Valentine's Day. I just have specific areas and stuff. And these are all extra blankets. Um, that's a Halloween costume video I just did. I have extra Halloween costumes. Those are for slime. Suitcase, suitcase. Um, more blankets, just baskets for um, usually just carrying my packages to the post office. And then this giant box is packing peanuts. And I haven't used them in a while, but they are pretty dang awesome. <laughs> so that's pretty much, this is my room for my slime shop. And I love it so much. And I am so thankful that I can, 
I just have this beautiful room to work in and I love it and I just have no words. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my slime room tour and I will see you guys with a new video, hopefully very soon if you subscribe. And yeah, bye guys.